this REU is all about connecting to place so that we can steward it into the future. Kava ma mua, kava ma hope. This summer, we did cutting edge research in the Ahupua'a of Kailua in Ko'olau Poko Oahu with our community partners, Ka'ulu Akalana. So Ka'ulu Akalana is a nonprofit organization. We're all about trying to connect people to place. We do it through three ways. Uh, we do it through working in the aina, working in the land. Uh, we do it through eating the ancestral food. And of course, through a lot of the stories and what um, that are famous throughout this area. Aloha, I'm Dr. Kiana Frank from Kailua, Oahu. Aloha, I'm Matt Madaris from uh, Honolulu, Oahu. Built on the foundation of Pilina, we promote skills of Kilo, Hono Science, and Ma Lama Aina. Our students are on Aina, in Aina, learning from Aina, integrating our Mo'olalo, our traditions, and our cultures into how we do science. Makahana Kaike. Our place-based focus promotes science learning by linking it with indigenous Pacific knowledge fostering an opportunity for community engagement and collaboration to resolve real-world issues facing indigenous communities across the Pacific. Ali, hello, my name is Macy Nahata, and I'm from the island of Palau. I love how this program used Mo'olelo and these traditional stories to help us to understand scientific knowledge and research. It's really cool because back home we also have all these stories about our land and how uh, our people came to be. So it's great that we, we kind of use science to prove the functionality of these stories. Hi, my name is Shota Shigeta and I'm from the island of Pompeii in the FSM. Throughout this program, I realized that there's so much connection between indigenous knowledge and scientific knowledge. We've learned so much from uh, Kumukiana and she's taught us about the uh, Olelo and all those connections in there and all those those hints of knowledge, scientific knowledge that Hawaiian ancestors already knew just by observing the land and all these animals and all this stuff. Hello, my name is Evan Carroll. Uh, I'm from Washington. Uh, well, actually I'm from here, but I go to school in Washington. I have learned that the uh, bridge between culture and science is a lot stronger than I thought. Um, I learned about the Mo'olelos uh, and sort of the the kilo, the idea in Native Hawaiian culture uh, of observation and sort of pilina, the relationships. And even though they didn't have, you know, necessarily have the tools uh, or the, uh, I guess, strict processes that, that Western science does, they still did science and they still learned and they still made decisions and, and improved things based on what they observe. And I think that um, will really shape my path as a scientist in the future, um, now that I, I realize that and understand that. Aloha, omehana keia. Uh, my name is Mehana. I am from Oahu. This program kind of really brought my two passions together, you know, culture and science. And that just showed me that there is a way to do both and to do science and also perpetuate my culture in the same, at the same time. This summer, projects focused on fishery science, sustainable agriculture systems, ecological restoration, invasive species science and management, and disease ecology. Uh, my name is Bryce. I am from the beautiful islands of Palau in Micronesia, and I'm Palauan. My lab, my lab is the best lab I've ever been to. <laughs> They're the best mentors I've ever had. My project involves corals, which is around my island. And that's and it's a really great experience to learn more about stuff that relate to your island. I have a lot of knowledge on my island. Like, I've learned now. I really hope to take this back home and teach more people about it. Kafa day. My name is Kiki Mosca. I am from the University of Guam. Besides learning some proficiencies uh, such as qPCR, PCR amplification, and DNA extraction, we are also encouraged to kilo, so to use our other observations to also uh, make connections between what our analysis is and what we see in the environment. My name is Christine Tonico and I'm from American Samoa. My project with microplastics has been giving me really interesting results, which I'm really excited to share about. Over the course of 10 weeks, 
Students were trained in environmental biological topics, research ethics, and responsible conduct through lectures and discussions, as well as lab safety procedures, experimental design, data analysis, scientific writing, and scientific communication. Trying to write out a research paper over the span of 10 weeks, um, it's, it's challenging. It's, it's a new experience, but um, with their help, they've taught me so much. Hi, my name is Carlene, and I'm a Palawan, and I'm from Guam. I live born and raised there, and then I recently moved to Hawaii for college. Uh, one thing I did learn is data analysis. I never learned too much about like how Excel works and spreadsheets, but she really taught me on how to like do like these t tests and like do comparison between other lizard data, but uh, lizard species data. This program really opened my eyes to how it is in Hawaii, like what we've been doing so far, the field work, working in the Lo'i, working with other um, Hawaiians. It's really fun to be part of it and be part of this movement to restore uh, Hawaii Nui. Buenas, my name is Laura Casera and I am from Guam. It was really cool learning about the ecology of different islands and learning about parasitology and the way that Parasites are brought in through different invasive species because I know this is something that affects Hawaii greatly and it affects Guam tremendously. So I feel like these are things that I can learn and I can take back to my island. People like Dr. Kiana Frank and Dr. Matthew Medeiros, in order to give us these opportunities, they have to gain knowledge, they have to get degrees, they have to rise and that's something I hope to do and to make changes on that. Ali and aloha, my name is Vanya Rakla. I'm from the beautiful islands of Palau. I'm on my last year at Palau Community College. Science isn't scary. Just be open-minded, be happy, be able to learn to find what you really want to look for. Aloha, my name is Matthew DeCosta. I am from the island of Oahu. Hawaiian students who are interested in sciences should follow their instinct and follow their gut in towards their dream because we need a lot of indigenous scientists, Hawaiian scientists, scientists from Guam, um, Palau, Micronesia, any um, Pacific Islander scientists would really help benefit um, their aina in a sense and also benefit their communities. You're going to get so much from this program. I can't wait for the kalos that we planted. You learn so much about yourself and you get to share something about your own island with people from all over the Pacific and you get to make those connections. It's really special to me not only because I'm from here but because I want to preserve it for the future and future generations. It sort of opened up my eyes to the broader world of, of uh, biological science. Science can be very hard. It's not something that's handed to you. It's something you have to go and you have to do. It actually exceeded my expectations. I'm just really grateful for this experience. Um, I really had fun. I'm sad that it's come to an end. I recommend it to everyone and anyone who wants to do it. It's a really, really powerful program, especially for Native people in science. It, it just really brings the science and the culture full circle and just really kind of grounds you into what you're doing the science for. Are you?